Once upon a time, in a quaint little village, there lived a kind-hearted girl named Cinderella. She was known for her gentle nature and beautiful spirit, despite the hardships she faced at home. Cinderella lived with her stepmother and two stepsisters, who treated her poorly and made her do all the chores. Every day, Cinderella would dream of a life filled with happiness and love, but her stepmother and stepsisters always tried to keep her from finding joy. They were envious of her beauty and kind heart, so they gave her the hardest tasks and never let her rest. One evening, as Cinderella was sweeping the kitchen, a cheerful little bird flew in through the open window. The bird had sparkling blue feathers and a tiny crown on its head. It chirped merrily and landed on Cinderella's shoulder. Hello, Cinderella, the bird chirped. I am Twinkle, the fairy bird. I have come to help you find your true happiness. Cinderella was amazed. Oh, Twinkle, that's so kind of you. But how can a little bird help me? Twinkle flapped its wings and a magical glow filled the room. I have a special gift for you, Twinkle said. These are the sparkling shoes. They have the power to take you to a place where your dreams can come true. With a wave of Twinkle's wing, a pair of beautiful shoes appeared in front of Cinderella. They sparkled like the stars and shimmered with every color of the rainbow. Put them on and make a wish, Twinkle instructed. Cinderella hesitated for a moment, then slipped her feet into the sparkling shoes. She closed her eyes and whispered, I wish to go to the grand ball at the royal palace. In an instant, Cinderella's tattered clothes transformed into a stunning gown that matched her sparkling shoes. Twinkle chirped happily and flew around her. Now, off you go. But remember, the magic will only last until midnight. With a heart full of hope and excitement, Cinderella made her way to the royal palace. When she arrived, everyone at the ball was mesmerized by her beauty and grace. Even the prince couldn't take his eyes off her. He asked Cinderella for a dance, and they twirled around the grand ballroom, lost in each other's company. As the night went on, Cinderella felt like she was living in a dream. But as the clock struck midnight, she remembered Twinkle's warning. She hurriedly left the palace, but in her haste, one of her sparkling shoes slipped off her foot and was left behind. The next day, the prince, determined to find the mysterious girl who had stolen his heart, searched the entire kingdom with the lost shoe. He visited every house, asking each girl to try on the shoe, but it didn't fit anyone. Finally, the prince arrived at Cinderella's home. Her stepmother and stepsisters tried to squeeze their feet into the shoe, but it was no use. When Cinderella shyly stepped forward, the shoe fit her perfectly. The prince recognized her immediately and knew she was the one he had danced with. With joy and relief, Cinderella reunited with the prince. Her stepmother and stepsisters were astonished and apologized for their cruelty. Cinderella, with her kind heart, forgave them and invited them to share in her happiness. Cinderella and the prince were married in a grand celebration, and they lived happily ever after. Twinkle, the fairy bird, watched over them, ensuring that Cinderella's life was filled with love and joy, just as she had always dreamed.